Hey guys, what's up? So I posted this photo on Instagram about four or five days ago and this is the tutorial for it. It's a nice, bright and bold spring look and I gave you three different lip options for it. I've had this idea in my head for so long and finally got around to filming it and I'm really happy with how it turned out. As most of my tutorials go, not only is this suitable for any skin tone, but it looks harder than it actually is. You'll be surprised at how easy this is to achieve. If you want to use different shades all together, go for it. You can completely disregard the shades that I used. Just use the technique and customize it to your preferences. Anywho, let's get into it. So I started by priming my eyelid with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm blending it out with my finger right up to my crease. I'm going to be making use of this NYX Boheme Chic palette and take a bit of this matte white and a bit of this light yellow shade and I'm going to mix them with the Meyer Lemon shade from the Sigma Creme Couture palette. This is going to be heavily packed on to the first half of my eyelid. If you already have a light matte yellow shade available, you don't have to go through the trouble that I did to mix all of these shades together to get the right color. You basically just want the end result to be a white shade with a bright yellow undertone and you want it to be matte. That's key. So once it's packed on, I'm taking this NYX blush in taupe and I'm blending it into my crease. I'm only doing back and forth motions because I want it to appear fairly sharp. And to warm up that NYX shade, I'm taking Passion Fruit from that same Sigma palette and I'm applying it into the NYX shade and slightly blending it up towards my brow bone. Now I'm taking a clean blending brush and I'm just feathering that out also towards my brow bone. And now I'm going back in with that white yellow shade so that it doesn't get lost under the NYX blush. And then again, I'm touching up the crease and then I'm touching up the white and the yellow. And I just go back and forth basically until I'm happy with it. I do this whenever I want the crease shade above to look really nice and defined. I want there to be like a distinct separation between the two. Now I'm going to do the usual winged eyeliner with my beloved Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pen. Not too thick, not too thin. And then I'm going to move on to the fun part. I'm taking this really neon yellow borderline green Lime Crime liquid eyeliner and this is in Citrusse. Don't judge me on my pronunciation. And I'm placing it on the back of the see-through covering that came with my Sigma eye palette. And I'm dipping my eyeliner brush into it and outlining the black winged liner that I just applied. The reason I like to put the eyeliner on the palette is because I like using my own eyeliner brush. I don't like the eyeliner brushes that come with liquid eyeliner. I feel like they're too flimsy and I find that I have way more control this way. So I'm just outlining that black eyeliner all the way around, including the top and bottom of my wing. Again, not too thick, more or less the same thickness as the black. You can do this with any shade you prefer. I chose neon yellow green because I find it looks wicked with blue eyes. If you have brown eyes, you could try like a bright purple or pinky blue shade. Once I'm happy with my neon outline, I'm just going to touch up the black again in case I went over some of it by accident. I'm using the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara and thickening up my lashes a little bit. And then to add a little bit more volume to the ends of my lashes, I'm just going to place three or four of these Red Cherry individual eyelashes over them. If you want a full tutorial on how I apply individual eyelashes, I will include it in the description box below because I filmed it previously. Next, I'm taking some of this white eyeliner and I'm drawing a line just below my brow bone and blending it out with a small synthetic brush. And then I'm going to set it with that same matte white eyeshadow from the NYX Boheme Chic Palette. This is going to make my brow bone really pop and make my eyebrow stand out even more. We don't want any of our features to get lost in this look. We want like eyebrow, pow, lips, pow, eyelids, pow. Know what I'm saying? Now I'm adding a little bit more mascara to blend my natural lashes into my individuals. I'm running a little bit of white eyeliner along my waterline and I'm applying some mascara to my bottom lashes and then putting the smallest amount of matte white eyeshadow just in my tear duct to open up my eyes even more. I should just walk 
I already contoured my cheeks really lightly using that same NYX blush in taupe and I'm going to apply some of this Lise Watier cream blush in Rose Eden to my cheeks with a fiber bristled brush. These types of brushes are great for applying cream blushes by the way. This blush is super pigmented and bright so as you can see a little bit goes a long way. I went a little ham on the blush so I'm gonna diffuse it and feather it out with whatever's left on my foundation brush. Moving on to the lips, the first shade I tried is by Revlon. It is a matte balm and it is in unapologetic, super bright, almost neon coral shade. And by the way, these matte balms by Revlon are dope. I think I have like five or six of them, so I highly recommend them. Next, I'm gonna try a light gloss and go with this Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss in Sweet Grapefruit. This one is super pretty too, and it's suitable for anyone who wants to keep the look a little bit more tame and really showcase the eyes. And since I'm the total opposite of tame, I'm gonna push the envelope and go with this OCC Lip Tar in Hoochie. Yes, Hoochie. And this is a super bright purple pink blue shade. This shade is off the charts and it looks amazeballs with neon yellow eyeliner. So if you haven't guessed, this is my favorite of the three lip choices. And again, I'm super happy with how this turned out. So that completes my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've done a similar, more simplified version of this in the past using drugstore products. And I will also include that in the description box below. I think I prefer this one between the two because it's a bit more out there and that's totally the kind of chick I am. As as always, all of the products that I use will be listed in the description box below. And P.S. I got a new laptop, so I should be showing up in your subscription box way more often. Thank you guys very much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.